Yo, 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 what's the deal, man? Bully Spitting Podcast, we in the building. Got the homie Ox in the building. Yeah. Landlord Buck, man, you know what's up, man. You did. Man, you know what I'm saying? Last time we did this in Dallas, this time we in a discreet location, man, you know what I'm saying? We ain't dropping no locations, but you know what I'm saying? It's a real exclusive interview. You know what I'm saying? We got the homies in here. You already know. High in, bullet spitting. We in the building. Man, so since last time, since the Rumble in the Jungle, man, uh, you know, give us a quick update on some of the some of the litters you done dropped. Oh shit, some of the litters, man, we didn't drop. Since the rumble in the jungle. Well, really, before I get into that, after I left the rumble in the jungle, that Sunday, we left Rumble in the Jungle Sunday and we went I had a uh, big rope, full fluffy Isabella male flew in that Monday. That, that's the that's 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 the big thing. Say that one more time. We had a big rope, full fluffy Isabella stud flew in the day after we left from the rumble in the jungle. Okay, is that is that what was on the um on the foot on the vlog? Yeah. Okay. Dapper okay. Dang. Okay, Dapper Dan. I ain't had even named him yet when the vlog came out, so I had to sit back a minute with him and really fill it in and came up with the name Dapper Dan. Nah, that's a player name. I'm re- I'm really tripping though, cause really we ain't even talked about what y'all did at the jungle, how y'all made y'all appearance. You know what I'm saying? I ain't skipped over that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all came in with the with the goddamn e. Uh, 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 what you, what they call them? Uh, them them, them vans. Uh, the sprinter. The, the sprinter van. Y'all came in on the sprinter van in traffic. Y'all had the police move the traffic out the way. Pulled up, man. Say that was dope right there by itself. Came in with security. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen nobody do it like that yet. Y'all want to speak on that? That's how we move. <laughs> it, 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 it's all about you know. We the nam the, na- the our nam speak for itself high end. No, so sure. everything we do gonna be on the highest level. You know what I'm saying? So gotta make a grand inches everywhere we go. I mean, even after that, y'all pulled up to the club with the same security and walked in the club. I mean, that's 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 some gangster shit. You know what I'm saying? That's some that's some G shit right there, man. You know, a lot of people in this game uh. You know, they fake it to make it, man. But every time y'all boys come through, it's the same energy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't faking it. No, nah, for we sure. We making it. Ah, for sure. But, man, let's get back to these dolls. So, Dapper Dan, how did you come up with the name Dapper Dan? I don't know. It took me like it took me like a minute to, to really get a name that suited that boy. And there's a lot of names that I came up with through my mind, but – is a lot a lot of people might duplicate that name. Yeah. And that name was just a standout because for people who don't know who Dabba Dan is, Dabba Dan, he customized all kind of clothing for years. Yeah. And on the East Coast in New York. Gucci, MCM, Louis Vuitton. For you know, everybody, all the you know. Celebrities, street people, it just he just was taking it up a notch. So I was just on like that. Uh, what 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 name I could come up with that gonna change the game? Cause he like it's only like I'm gonna say three in the world like him is is, is and the other two is his brothers. One is an older brother of another litter. And he had a brother of the Sam Litter. Yeah. So you know he real. He like a real gem. Yeah. So so you were saying he flew in. Where you had to fly in from? He flew in from uh from uh Vegas from oh, CD okay. from CD CEC Bullet Vincent. You know I've been running with him for a little minute. He been uh looking out. We spent a lot of bread with him. So as soon as he had something special. Everything he had that special, he gonna hit me up and let me know ahead of time before anybody else could get get their hands on him. And when he hit me up with him, like he hit me up like 
a week before the jungle, and he just sent me the sent me the picture, and yeah. I'm and I'm like, man, I went to pacing around the house. I'm like, man, I need this dog because I because ain't nobody got nothing like this. So the next day he hit me up with a price. You know, we worked it out, and I was trying to get a flight in so I could have counted the rumble in the jungle with him. Yeah. But uh, he really didn't want me to take him to the jungle because he was still too young at right, the right. time. But like I say, I, I just had to have that in the camp. And this, 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 that was the move to better the whole camp, not to better me. That's for my whole camp to take it up a notch. Right. I ain't gonna lie though, you know, that probably was a good move not bringing them to the jungle, man. It'd be a lot of cats in there, man. I don't think they they too much too much big on, you know, the uh hygiene for their dog. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was, and him being a rare gym, you know. Yeah. You gotta treat that. That's why I don't take him I don't take him out now. Yeah. I just leave him in he inside, he inside dog. Tell it's time for him to do his thing, you know? For sure. Man, so uh, I'm just sitting back. I'm just, I, I've been sitting back analyzing a lot, man. Just seeing where this game going, you know. It's it's almost like the stock market, you know what I'm saying? Not not with the money, why? just the energy, you feel me? Like, like you know, as uh, far as the Frenchie game, man, it seemed like it's it's just steady pace. My bad, my stomach, bro. Seemed like it's steady, steady pace, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit. Um, and with the bullet game right now, bro, it just seemed like a seemed like almost like a decline. But with y'all, with the Frenchy breeders, it just seemed like it's just a coast. You feel me? Yeah. Like it's just a coast and smooth. So you know, you know, from looking on the outside, where where do you see the game at right now? Well, really, it's like this here: the bullet game. It it had like every dog game got the time to shine. Right. Cause at one time, but at one time it was the bullet game, the strongest, and then it was the bulldog that was really going the strongest, and then the bulldog game kind of declined, and the Frenchie game took off, and when it started adding this fluffy, the Isabella, and the big it, it, like it ain't no end, it ain't no, it ain't no end to this Frenchie game right now. Right, right. Like we can't see the end because it's so much that's going on with it. Yeah, I and I think that where y'all at right now, I think that's where the bullet game was back in fifteen, sixteen yeah. with the Giants. Yeah, I think you know it's like right now. I, I really see like some endless shit y'all can do, like just to keep changing, changing the DNA, man. It, 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 it it really seemed fun if you in that in yeah. that world. It really seemed fun, like man, I can create this with this. You know what I'm saying? It's like some laboratory shit. So. It's all about it's it really all about seeing your production and what what what's next, what we can make. For sure. So so uh, with with Dapper Dan, right? You said it's only three, and you got one, so it's yeah. two more. Yeah. How was how was this sauce created? How was Dapper Dan parents created to create Dapper Dan? Well, all I know, uh, Dapper Dan, their daddy, all of them come from the UK. Okay. Okay. The UK, you know, I I heard a lot about the UK. Um, I heard a lot about the UK when it comes to the Frenchies. Um, is that is did that wave start over there? In the UK, which one? The big the, ropes, the the big ropes, the fluffies. Yeah, all no, they, all the fluffy came from the UK, but really the Frenchies, the Frenchy, the lilac Frenchy, came from over there. They created like all the different colors in the UK. So when they hit the United States, now when they hit the United States, we trying to perfect it to another level now. Right, you know, cause they get it first. And they sent it here, and then we just put our sauce to it and make it better than what they got over there. Okay, okay. It be first generation when it come from the UK. Somebody, some young cat called me uh, one time for a post, 
from the UK. Uh, his daddy, I want to say, what's his daddy's name? Uh, is it dude named Diego or something in the in the, in the French world? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so it's known for making new colors or yeah, something like designer, that. Yeah, designer, designer. Designer, yeah, designer. that's what it was. So his yeah. son had called me, and he was telling me about some stuff they was creating, but uh, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy you said that. So we get, so we so basically start over there, and then they bring it over here, and then we make it better. Yeah, we make it better once so, we get so, here. So what is it about the U.S. that make it better, make the South better? Uh, the swag they don't have no swag over there. They yeah. just, they just it's like scientists in the lab. Uh, it, it, it's like scientists in the lab, or it's like a it's like a designer. It's like a Louis Vuitton or a Gucci. They make the clothes, but you got to think about it. When it hit urban America, we the one set the trends on how we wear it and do what we do with it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So they just they in the lab. They they they, they producing it. But when he come here, we put the swag on it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. We buy it. We put the swag on it. We put the price tag on it. You know what I'm saying? We the one. We the market for it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so, so you saying like it's not like the fluff is in all that. It's not a. It's not a high commodity over there. It's not something that's that's wanted like that. No, because they got too many laws and stuff that that restrict them over there. They 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 restrict it to what they could do. So all they doing is just breeding this, breeding that. But over here we got the swag. Right. They make the clothes, and when they come over here, we swag them how we want. And when we when I say that, we go. You know how you take them to the embroidery, and you you skinny lean, you skinny them up, and you do this and that. Yeah, we we, we put this up. Danny. Yeah. We dapper Danny. Yeah. That's how it goes. Game dapper Danny. You know. They the factory. We the streets. For sure. So so you know. Like I say, I, I do a lot of analyzing. People ask me why I'm quiet. I just watch. I, I watch a lot. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and one of the things I watch, man, uh, uh, it's like, I think High End is, is one of the best producing, but producers, you know, as far as when it comes to the Frenchies. But I still don't think y'all get y'all just do. You feel me? Nah. And maybe I can maybe I can be wrong, you know what I'm saying. I I know y'all get y'all just do on this side because I see what's going on. But when it comes to the to the other folks, I don't think I don't think y'all get it. I, am I wrong or you know what I'm saying? Nah, we it, you know they got they got a lot of people that you know that 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 give us our props, but then they got a lot that don't. And they got a lot that give us our props on, you know, behind the scenes, but don't want to give us our props up in the open. Right. You know, they scared for us to get in their position, but at the end of the day, you know, we're going to take take our position in the game. We too strong. We a team together. It's over 15 of us in one camp, and, and it's like they camps, they selfish. They got one, two, three couple of little people in their camp, but everybody fighting to be the big dog. Everybody in the camp a big dog with us. Yeah. Everybody trying to, everybody going to the next level. Every time they breathe, it's going to be bigger than the last letter. Like, we, you could say we competing with each other, but we competing with each other so we can get out and kill a game. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like basketball. We go to practice. We in there playing against each other so we could go out. And when we go out in the competition, mm. that's what we going for. We trying to win the championship. Man, for sure. You know, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a ass, but if it's, you know what I'm saying, we can cut it out if I don't. But uh, if, if it ain't this shit. But I, I, talk, I talk to homie. I ain't going to say his name, but, you know, I think he told me he he got the secret sauce to um to the uh give me one, the husky French yeah now if y'all don't want to talk about it cool I cut this out but you know if we can talk about it, we can talk is this true y'all got the sauce to the to the husky because I thought it was only one person that had it nah it's like a lot of people got huskies but we came up on a husky and didn't know it. Like right. we bought a a, a a dog from someone, right? And we just end up 
making it and nobody, you know, and we got one of two. Well, we had two of them off the litter that's outstanding, but, you know, we got the female we be showing. We got the boy tucked out till it's his time to come out. Right, right. So, so what makes what makes for one like what makes it a husky? It do it, it do it got it really got husky blood in it like that, or is it the look? It got it, you know. Like I say, all that come from the UK. Right. Like whatever they mixed in the blood, we don't know. But it's the color pattern the color that pattern. you gonna know that okay. that's a husky. And then when you do the DNA, it won't have no pie in it because it got pie marking. Yeah. But when you do the DNA and it don't come back with the pie in it, then you know that it's husky. Okay, for sure. I mean, you know, three, four more times me hearing that I'ma get it, but I'm still, I'm still learning about that that Frenchy word, man. Uh, that's why it's good to have these interviews with y'all. You know what I'm saying? And kind of, you know, go back and learn and re-listen to the interview or whatever. But uh, man, um. With that being said, like, what's what's uh, what's the next look? What's the next look everybody's shooting for with the Frenches? Next look? Yeah, like, what's the next? Because there's always something new being created, so y'all going smaller? What's yeah, it's all about it's all yeah. about the structure with all of the DNA. That will that you know that's the main goal right now to have quality with color, not just color, no quality. You need it all in one. Right. Mm. Okay, okay. Man. Yeah, that DNA sheet stacked from the top to the bottom with structure. And it's crazy because you always missing one. Yeah. You always miss them, always missing one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what was you saying? What was you saying, uh landlord? You always want that, that 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 DNA sheet. You want it stacked from the top to the bottom. That's the goal. Yeah. So it be you know, and then when you when you go to breeding, you can all you can have everything. You can breed everything together, and just when you do the DNA, it might be missing one. So you got to go back in the lab again. So it's like a never ending game. Right. Right. You know right. What I'm saying it's climaxing though. It's a never ending game. We do it for the sport. We love this. We live this. Real dog man. We put every we put our whole life online for this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything. That that that's We that's, went all in. When I say all in, yeah. Went all in, man. Went all in at the Ram Noodles. That's what I'm talking about, all in. Feel what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yup. Nah, that's what's up, man. So uh some some of the some of the uh you know, some of the guys that you can name at the camp that I haven't that I haven't met personally, like you know what I'm saying? That that's doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, can you can you name some of them folks? I know you said y'all strong, like 15, 20, 20 strong. Like, I know I probably met about eighty y'all, probably about seven, six, seven, eighty y'all in Dallas. But uh, I know it's one cat be hitting me up. I think his logo like purple though. It's high. I think it's just high and fluffy. High and fluffy French. That's boom. Boom. Yeah. Okay, okay. He's, he 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 started out in the beginning. Right. He started out in the beginning, but you know, he had a few uh mishaps. So he had been ducked off for a little minute, but he back. He back rocking and rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was telling me, you know, then his page been gone for like six months, but yeah. Yeah, he back rocking and rolling. For sure. But uh man, so you know, have you have you sent some of that, you know, some of the sauce that you made down here? Have you sent it back to the UK? You know, have you sold some back to the UK? Not yet. Not yet. But that's the goal, though. Okay. That's the goal, putting it in the UK, China, overseas, just to get that overseas clientele. Like, that's going to be big. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're trying to put the structure and the look to them. So where they got to go back over, they're going to have to come shop with us sooner or later. Man, so uh, this cat Diego, like, like, okay, let's do this. 
hands down, he Diego like okay, yeah. Diego like George. Okay, that's was, was to the do. bullet gang. Like, right. like he created a lot of, you know, he he created a lot of hitters. Right. You know. But I heard like you know what I'm saying. Um, I heard a lot of good things about him. As far as him creating the color and all that, then I heard, you know, the negative too. So like I, I was just asking, like, you know, and that they go for George too. You heard good about George, you heard negative about George. I was just asking, like, cause, you know, now I'm kinda now I kinda wanna research him even more because his name just been popping up, popping up, popping up. You know what I'm saying? Now I wanna see what he talking about. And uh I just want to know, you know, from your your point of view, where where was he at in this game? You feel me? But, yeah, like uh, he, he, you know, he, he he the one. Yeah, you know. Okay. Do he do he come over here? Yeah, he do. His son over here a lot, a lot of these shows. Okay. You know. He was at the show. Yeah, they was in the show in Miami. Yeah. I heard about that. Y'all went to that show? Nah, we were supposed to, but did uh Black Card go? I know he was talking no. about going. He didn't go. Okay, okay. Mm, that's what's up. Okay, yeah, man. So uh, I'm over here on your page, Ox. And I was looking at some of these dolls, some of these fluffies. Not fluffies, but Frenchies you got. And uh, one of them that popped up. Landlord, I was looking for your page, too. It ain't popping up on my phone. Okay, okay. Yeah, Already. Drop the lid. I got four more lids dropping this month. Four more? Yeah. Mm. I can't. I, you know, I was just in production last year. This year here gonna be my year. That's why I told you I'm gonna be on that list this year. You can't deny me. Yeah. You're able to do the 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 dough up, but you know what I'm saying. Nah, I'm a soldier. Sure. I'm gonna kick that bitch in. I got a chainsaw. I got a crowbar. I make I I I make that burglar bar shit. Yeah, yeah. with that crowbar. Nah, for sure. I'm in there. It's over now. I'm in here. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I'm man. I put, I'm a, I put myself on the scene. I ain't got to be in the number one spot. Shit, my brother got it. Right. Yeah. All I want to do is make the list. I ain't tripping. All I want to do is make the list. I ain't tripping about none of this shit. Nah, for sure. You know, we, we I'm arguing, doing all that. We don't do that. We produce. Like your like your clothing line say, what it say? Produce, Produce not man. bought. Yes, sir. I swear to God, we will get them shirts before we leave here. Nah, for sure. I actually. gotta put them on. If I, I got a few females, I'm gonna put them on. Produce not bought. I sure <laughs> appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How that goes? For sure, yeah. Hey, available. Everything hey, hit me up. Not bought. For sure. Hey, I'm looking at I'm looking at a uh, homie. Uh, Ooh, how uh, you Bo- King? Nah, Booby Boobie Black. Black. Yeah, that Boobie dog Black still ain't got beat. He got the smallest French I mean, I ever seen. Still, the same still the same still size. Still the same I'm size. Still, it's still in the same do- uh, harness. The dog was so small. <laughs> we went over there. I went over to the black house the other day. Man, the dog was so small. You know, he'll keep the cage open and kind of let him run and exercise a little bit while you watch the TV. Man, yeah. we lost the dog in the house. Yo, the dog was under the sofa. And the sofa way lower than this. Damn. Man, we looked all over for the dog. We thought the dog had to. You know how you let your dog run out the backyard? You can't do that because... You know, you got little splits in the wood fence and stuff. Yeah. Extra cars, you gotta keep you gotta keep a hold and eye on him. You gotta put a camera on him. Yeah. Yeah, that's small. T Yo, Palm Angels, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Palm Angels kicking that juice right now. Nah, that's crazy, cause that dog was tiny. That boy was tiny for sure. I was gonna ask you though about uh how you how you pronounce his last name? Joe Barrow? Is that how you say it? Joe Barrow. Barrow? Yeah. yeah. You know, so, like, like LSU, the quarterback okay. for LSU, Joe Burrow. He yeah. played for uh, Cincinnati now. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about. He was he was produced by uh, Doughboy. That okay. come off of his female that he did a breeding. He did a breeding to get him. It was like three, three fluffers off that litter. That boy look like he got some muscle under there. Mm-hmm. Sure. You like him, huh? Yeah, I seen him. when you when you like that post. I said, shit, yeah, yeah. he like Joe Burrow. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. And he just been in the cut, you know? We got a lot of, we got a lot of dogs. We don't just be posting it like that. We post little and stuff like that, but 
we we got a lot of stuff that just ducked off right now. We just, you know what I'm saying? They, we feel like this. It's like it, it, it's like a franchise. Everybody get their time. You know what I'm saying? You can't just put everything out there at one time because it'll be too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to give everything their time. Every it, we got see we we sit down as team members. We got quarters in a year. This quarter gonna be your quarter. This quarter gonna be your quarter. We got cat when you you coming out the summer, cat. Should be by the yeah, summer. Yeah. Any day. Any day she should oh, all be right. back. All right. Well, you know it's gonna be. We got he he ducked off, sitting sitting in a laboratory. It just. I mean, we just yeah. be produced. We got stuff that we sit right here and we say well, we're gonna take this to this and we're gonna make that. Yeah, it just and it's coming along how it's supposed to come along. I mean, it ain't. It, it, the thing about it is. The shit, the shit fire. Like, yeah. it ain't no, like, y'all niggas, my bad. My, I forgot I'm on YouTube. But, uh, y'all, y'all, y'all boys dropping. Back to back. Back to back. We got Tim just Hit like three little. That's what I'm saying, like. Man. But the key is, though, too, bro. It's like, man, you think about it, man. You know, they ain't guaranteed to move that quick, nor to sell. You know, they ain't guaranteed to sell that quick. So, if you ain't trying to breed, to have something off of that litter that you gonna want to keep for yourself. Make Why no would you breed to even do it? To even breed it, right? Why would if you're not gonna keep nothing off the litter? Why would you breed it? And that make a lot of sense too. You know, I'm, I'm happy you. You, you don't want that out. Go on. Yeah, if you don't want it, and I ain't tripping on it if I gotta keep. And, and and that's how I am. I got a litter just dropped. I ain't really pressed on selling because it's four females, one male. I sold. I just sold a male today. So uh, and it, them dogs a week old. I got four females. I don't care if I don't sell nothing because the structure and that's a little ox to chop or blood off your load. So I don't, I'll keep all four of them. I ain't doing no trip. We, man, we straight over here. We don't be competing with nobody. We compete with ourselves. We trying to do better than the last little. That's what we doing. We ain't compete with nobody. We ain't argue with nobody. We love everybody. We spread love and happiness all through. We ain't beef with no kennel. We ain't had no other kennel head. We not talking smack by nobody. We ain't speaking negative. You know what I'm saying? It's all positive over here. That negative we did that in the early 2000s. That shit ain't nothing but straight prison. So no, all sure. that's dead, man. We raising our family. We having fun with this. We living life. Man, uh, now now this lead me to the question now. Like it's 365 days in a year. Right. How often are y'all at this at this uh at the um at the vet? I mean, man. it seemed like this some this some at least man, three I, days a week, three four so days many, a week. I could be having so many days in the vet. <laughs> Shit. I could have to leave his dog. He'll go down there and be right there. Then he'll be want to go back on the other side, and he'll be like, "Man, I got to come back these two days. I got some business to go handle." He'll be like, "Man, look, I leave the dog here and let somebody take it." Man, look, when you get through, you busy tomorrow. Drop him off by his house. Man, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. We were just talking about that today. Matter of fact. Cause we we dealing with our vet, and he was like, man, you know, we might have to do a, something with the other vet over there. And I was like, man, you know what? It ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I'm saying, cat? He was like, cause you know, and, and, and I told him, man, we doing two minutes. So I say, nah, it ain't broke, don't fix it. We gotta take the ride. We gotta take the ride. Yeah. And we gotta make accommodations. We gotta leave it at my mama house, your mama house overnight. Let cat go get it. Let him go get it. And, Whatever, whatever, we might have to make accommodation, you know what I'm saying? If it ain't broke, we ain't trying to fix it. Now, now my question is, like, okay, everybody producing, everybody dropping littles. Are y'all going for the same look, or is everybody trying to do something different? Like, is everybody chasing the same look, or is everybody chasing something different? You know what I'm saying? I mean, saying? We'll, we'll, we'll put something on the table. Like, right now, it's the big roll. Big roll fluffy, big roll fluffy, Isabella trying to put everything on it, but... That, that, that'll that be the goal, but everybody had their own vision. You feel what I'm saying? You might want yours, you might want yours short. You might, he might want his short back. He might want his mother, everybody, but it'll be, you know what I'm saying? Around the same thing, but everybody have their own vision. You know, Tim got his own thing and Ox got his own thing, but nothing be a secret. We all put it out and be like, what you think? If I take, the, if I take X, Y, Z to A, B, C, what you think? Brother, I think that'd be good, but I'm gonna take A, B, and D to V, X, Y. 
and you do that. You know what I'm saying? We don't be hating on each other. We don't, they don't be on no competition. We compete with ourselves. You feel what I'm saying? So that that's one thing I can say is just everything in a positive movement. I ain't gonna lie. It seems like I've been knowing. I don't know. Let's say I've probably been on Ox for like two and a half summers. Yeah. I ain't seen no fumbles yet at this camp, man. This is real we shit. We all like, don't want to call because you got to think about it. Man, everything everything else it is to do, we done did that. All the negative, we done got all that out of the system. So, you know what I'm saying? We on some positive stuff now. And if we on some brother time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, it don't be all. I just had my little. I had a hiccup the other night with, you know what I'm saying? Just. I'm in up, you know what I'm saying, just thinking and thinking, trying to overthink and being cautious with everything. Man, we had a conference call by eight people on the call. Everybody putting in, man, you know, everything was positive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I was tripping out on my female dog, and I took it to the vet in the middle of the night. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So we had a whole conference call, eight people on the call. Right. And everybody putting the output in, you know what I'm saying, putting the input. And that's just what it is. And, I, and, I, and one thing about it, I respect all of them. I respect all the brothers. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been breeding and bre I've been I've been buying and buying and buying, and it's like I was buying them as a puppy. You feel what I'm saying? Like right. I was into the rap thing, and I had a I had an option: either I'm gonna take this bread I got, either I'm gonna put it in an artist, or I'm gonna roll with Ox and, and, and run with uh, 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 the dogs. By the experience and seeing how my partners before me was running record labels and that. Them dudes get money and they change. Them dogs gonna do what I want them to do. I ain't, I ain't gotta go burn the dog out of jail. Yo. The dog ain't calling me three o'clock in the morning trying to spin on nothing. I gotta give him a rod. You feel what I'm saying? No, nah, for sure. Them dogs chilling. You get what I'm saying? So I put my money in the dog, but I was just, you know, buying puppets, buying puppets. So I'm coming out now. It, it, it's my time right now. I got five litters on the way. I think I, you got four, huh? You got four within the next, what, three weeks? Man, I mean, y'all got a compound or something? Like, nah, we got, yeah, we got a compound. Y'all got a compound? Yeah, we got a building, we got a man, and, uh, you know, we do co-owns. And, and, you know, we kind of work with, with families because, you know, from where we from, it's small. And when you're doing something of this nature, you got all your family members. I want one of them dogs. I want one of them dogs. I want this. So we kind of make it affordable for them to have a dog where we could, you know what I'm saying, still have kind of like a leash on the situation. So we be giving back, looking out for the people too, you know what I'm saying? Cause you ain't no way from where we from, so close knit community, you gonna do what you doing with these dogs. And auntie, brother, cousin, uh, your classmate and all that, not gonna want nothing. And you know, we make things reasonable for them co on we do it all. So, okay, y'all got the name high end, but do, okay, say somebody come through, you know what I'm saying, want a dog, they only got 5,500, 6,000. Do y'all got do y'all got uh do y'all got them quality bull them quality Frenchies for those for those type of people? Look, I, 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 we try to work with everybody because we know everybody can't afford. We'll work a payment plan, like like we do a puppy back. It, 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 I ain't we ain't trying to let nobody go nowhere else. We gonna treat them like family just because they got might have five grand. Nah, come on, bring that. We gonna give you this. We gonna work it out on the back end. Work it out. Get oh, out. And we gonna make you know we gonna make sure you straight. So 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 cats that's that's gonna watch this. They do got something for you, man. Your pockets ain't quite there yet. You working? You wanna just get in the game, man? You know what I'm saying? Tap in with them, fam. They got it. Man, we help them all the way too. And you don't just buy a dog for much. You don't buy a dog from us in January. The dog come in heat in December. You know what I'm saying? You could call us back. What you think I should do with this? You know what I'm saying? I, you might not have no money at the time. I just keep stud credit. I just say, well, look, go ahead. This, you know what I'm saying? And it will guide you all the way. You can call Ox any time. Get get some game, get some knowledge. And Ox is the type of person. This the first person I seen in the dog world. You buy a dog from him. 18 months later, you got a, a whatever. Whatever the time frame is, you got a lid on the ground. You tell I man, I need some, I need some help selling these puppets. He really helped you sell them puppets. I witnessed that. Remember, I told the last story where he gave the chick the money. Mm -hmm. The girl crying and shit, cause the money had left. But yeah, I'm gonna work with everybody. Cause man, one thing about it, we've been in the street, we've been in the game, we know how that go. One hand shake the neck. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You can't do this alone. You can't do nothing alone, man. 
You know nah. what I'm saying? Jesus didn't do it alone. He needed God. You nah. feel what I'm saying? For sure. Holy Spirit. I know they've been tuned in to BML. Look at the BMF. I gotta catch that episode when I get back to the room. I missed the uh, I missed the. Uh, you can't do you know nothing mean, alone. You'll never ball alone, bro. You nah. need unity. You can't do nothing alone. That's why when I be hearing dudes say, "Man, I got it out of the mud. I did this by myself." All right. If you got a product, you can sell tennis shoes. You didn't you know. do it by yourself because your customers got you where you was going. Advertising got you where you was going, so it ain't no such thing as doing it by yourself. You said something right you there because I feel like by yourself. I feel you know like a lot. I feel like a lot oh, of people. I would never say that, man. I got out of the mud. Yeah. I mean, I came from the dirt like a worm. Cause when I, you know, at one time I ain't had nothing. Yeah. But shit, that's why when I go back to my community and this and that, I jail with the the junkers and they used to wash my back in the situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Them people there used to support what I had going on. That's how I came up. I don't do that no more. But you feel what I'm saying? I wasn't nothing without them. Without them, it wouldn't be no landlord book. You get what I'm saying, Ken? Yeah. It wouldn't be me without them. So I could never sit on camera or say, man, I did this by myself. I don't owe nobody nothing. I owe my community because they upheld me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When I was back there in that cut and the people was coming through, they called me. All that contributed. You feel what I'm saying? So there ain't no, no such thing as I did this alone. Mm-hmm. And if you're a dog breeder and you got a whelper, your whelper help you. If you got a if you got a kennel partner, all he do is come clean crap around your house and and bleach everything down. You needed him to do that. So you can't, you never can say you did it on your own. Oh, I paid him. You still needed his services. So I don't, I don't, we don't believe in all that. We teamwork make the dream work over here. If you feel you big and better than everybody else over here, man, we ain't even on that type of time. Man, you know I, had, I, had, I had a question lined up, but I just ran into that, but then, that nigga, that boy hard as hell. You gotta see him in real life. That nigga like a guy. Got you gotta see him in real life. But that boy look like something. Yeah, that shit down, do nothing for him. I ain't lying. He but that dap got a whole dap. Yeah, I just ran into him. I'm over here looking at him now. That boy you gotta see him like, in real a, life. like a like a like a teddy bear you, you get from Walmart or something. You gotta bro. see the wrinkles on that. Boy. Like a like a damn that shit crazy. Yeah, he's serious. But but back to uh what we were saying, what you were saying, cause like I think a lot of people um. A few people in this game, or a lot of people in this game, you know, they do, they do get su- successful. And I think they forget about the community a yeah. little bit. You know what I'm saying? You so nothing without the community. Yeah, the community brought you where you at. I think, I think sometimes you just gotta, you know, humble reanalyze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Humble yourself. You know what I'm saying? And, and remember what, what happened. You know what I'm saying? How it happened for sure. Yeah, but you. You can breed all the dogs in the world. You can't sell them to nobody. The people who bought the dog from you, that's your biggest supporter. And you got people buy a dog from you and uh, go back and, 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 and breed and they camp. And guess what? They come back and buy a dog from you again. And it's all about, you know what I'm saying? I see this here too. I think it's, you know, I just like I ain't on the social media and all of that, but I yeah. just try to show my dog love, you know, as much love in public as I could, you know what I'm saying? Let people see, like, damn, man, that dog a part of him and his family daily life, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people be wanting their enjoyment for their family, too, you know? Entertainment and that love in their family, too, you know? Yeah. Like, treating a dog like it's one of them, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people see that and, you know, gravitate toward that and want to exchange numbers and get information on what's going on, you know? Yeah. So you got to show I, it in that manner, too, you know? Yeah. I got a little fluffy carrier like that, peso. Right. Everybody know peso. He'll bite you. He, he can't. People, I go to people. I keep him with me. I go to people house. They tell me he got to stay in the truck. He can't come <laughs> in the house. He walk. He'll leave outside. Play outside. Thirty men come in the house. Straight cocky leg up on the people plant. He just can't go nowhere. But they know one thing. That's my dog. You put your hands on me, he gonna bite you. You know what I'm saying? So we live this for real. And I be messing with a little female. I go to their house, get what? Peso jump in the bed while we sleeping. That's what it is. If he can't sleep, I'm going to go get me a room and leave y'all. And that's what yeah. it is. Man, hey, so. my girl going to watch this, this, and that. I'm telling you, my, it is what it is. I ain't tripping. I deal with that when it comes. But Peso <laughs> sleep in the bed. What? What? I think I just ran into Peso. Uh, is this the one? Uh, is Peso the one that's on? Um, is that you and your son in that picture? Yeah. Is, yeah, is that peso? Fluffy carry, yeah. He don't have no long hair. Okay. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah. hey, Ox, uh, 
Go ahead. What was about to say? Matter of fact, that pistol came off of one of our first thugs when we had working, bro. Mm-hmm. Pooch. Yeah, unfortunately, bro, he died on a. Yeah, unfortunately, he died the on show. the week going to the show in Dallas. I thought he two died two years ago. Back, huh? On the, on the way going on the plane. Damn. But yeah, man, uh so so I right, so I'm, I'm I'm going through your page, uh landlord, and I'm seeing uh I got two questions, but I look Ox. Look, Ox still out here working, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Good, man. I'm about to say you gon' you, 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 when you retire, he gon' you gon' home him? Or uh-huh. you gonna let him go somewhere, you gonna keep him? I gotta keep. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah that's legacy, though. Man. Ain't nobody gonna take yeah, Cam like I take like Cam. Like you know what I'm saying? He can't, he can't go nowhere with the cool, Much as he get on my nerves at the house, he yeah. can't go. He can't leave like, the house. He got a situation with the ox. Like I got with Peso. Like I had to go make. I was going to a funeral uh, last week. Yeah. And I I got three females at the house, and I put them in kennels. I put them by ox house, but I had to take Peso with me, cause. That man like peace in his house. He yeah. can holler. See, when Lil Ox get the bargain, he holler. Lil Ox can shut up. Peso ain't gonna shut up unless he hear my voice. That's yeah. why I got to keep him way on the other side of the house in, 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 in the air-conditioned garage because he, he ain't gonna shut up. So he the only one could tame Lil Ox. He got to keep him. Man, you know, I so I had another question, but I got this. Where did this passion for the dogs come from? Where did that... Where did y'all love? Where did I that shit start at? Yeah. I, I always did connect with dogs. Like, that, my little partner was on Instagram last week saying, when I was young, I had a three-wheel bike riding through the neighborhood with a revolver with a wiener dog. You yeah. Me? And everywhere I went, if you play with me, the dog, the wiener dog would jump out the basket and try to bite you. I always had a passion for dogs because, you know what I'm saying, I got older brothers and sisters. And the brother that was older than me, he was six years older than me. so. I was always alone, and the only friend I had, because I was a problem child growing up, was a dog. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And we moved to the country, and all I had was a dog. And then I was getting in trouble in school, always at home being expelled. All I had was a friend. Everybody in school was a dog. So I connect with dog. That's why I, everywhere I go, I keep a dog. You know what I'm saying? I know the dog. My fear in the game is somebody that I love stabbed me in the back. I know the dog ain't gonna do nothing to me. No, for you sure. know what I'm saying? That's real. Yeah, but the love for the dogs, that's that got to be in you. A lot of people jumped in the game. <clears throat> they seen it was easy money, or, or, you know, like that. But if you don't love them, because if I don't make a penny off them, I still love them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like. And see, and, 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 and uh, I know a lot of people have me when, you know, they try to be like, I ain't had no dog or whatever. But I thought it was important for me to learn the game first before I, you know what I'm saying? Because I had a dog before, but I really, I just never sit down, so I never really had time to, you know what I'm saying? So right now, the more I learn about dogs, the more I grow a passion for it. Yeah, you know, right. at first, I seen, a, I seen an opportunity, but now that I'm in it, you know what I'm saying? Now it's like, okay. I, I can do this. Uh, just let me get right for it. Let me get a bigger house. That way I can really care for the dog like that. And I, I ain't got to keep him in a cage or hug him in a cage. I can let them boys run around. Because I, now I'd be like, man, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to see my dog in a cage. I want to have a dog I can, you know, let run around. You right. feel me? So that's where I'm at right now. Now I ass act up. Just got to go home. But you feel me? Other than that, I want the dog out with me. Chilling. Yeah. So I got on. Uh, that's why I got kind of. That's why I kind of got away from the bulldogs, man. Yeah. It's like you know, you limited on what you could do with dogs that certain size. You know, limited what you could do with them and where you could go with them. You know, and I, sometimes you know, I just got tired of just man, look at that dog just sitting there, man. Can't bring him with me. But you know, it's like the Frenches, man. You go anywhere, you just let him hop in the car. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go in the grocery store, put him in the basket. Like you know, you can go anywhere. You know. Yeah, yeah. So I, I totally understand what you're saying, but yeah. you got to the point that well, that kid shit just wasn't hitting for you no yeah. more, man. You know, he just no man. Fuck. Really, honestly, I don't even like zoos because I don't like, I don't like. I, don't, I know I'm out subject, but I don't really like zoos like that because I don't like how they got the animals displayed. You feel me? Like I don't like to see them. Man. Like I don't That's like this shit. Like that. Yeah, right, that safari ride. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather see them in their own habitat rather than we walking through like they some. 
like experience. I don't know. Right, it just right. looked weird to me. Now that I'm older, you feel me? When I was a kid, it was cool to go, but now I'll be like, damn, cuz that monkey looked depressed in the motherfucker. Yeah, you know? routine, everything. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, that's why I had to get away. I did real time. That's why I see them go over like, yeah. I just let them run in the backyard and just watch them. So I, I, it just be all sweet and done, bro. Then I got one. Man, she looked so depressed in that cage. She'll put her head by the cage. Matter of fact, that's uh, a little hog sister. Yeah, she put her head by the cage, and when you pass by that, she just looked like man. She <laughs> just looked like an inmate, bro. Yeah. Just please let me out. I'm gonna do whatever. <laughs> man, it's just crazy. I just I, I ain't know. I got a heart for him, bro. I can't just watch him sit in that cage like that. I gotta let him run. I get into it with my people around the house all the time. I got the coffee man coming there every week. I was looking for uh I, I had a question. Cuddling. That's you? Uh uh landlord? That's that meet you and I mm-hmm. cuddling meets Botox. Okay. Maybe what? waiting on that now. That's like nine days a week. What what, what what's the what's the goal for that for that breed? Like what what are y'all looking to get Big out there? Big roll fluffy. Big roll merle fluffy. Big roll merle. Yeah, okay. That, that, that breed now that's 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 a long DNA shit. Okay. DNA, yeah. Is that getting y'all? Is that is that breeding right there getting y'all close to that? To what we was talking that, about that having one, everything. Yeah, that one there should be the one. She gonna. I got faith in it. She got she got big roll fluff for everything else. She I gonna, think she go through one of the smaller ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. She gonna top something she out with one of the smaller that they got so far. Yeah. I, I think she gonna top something out. She got a lot in the tooth, so yeah. she gonna top one of the smaller ones out. Amira did a good one. Amira on that with Botox, Amira did good. She, I mean, Mentega did good too, but Amira just gonna give you everything. She gonna give you a, 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 a mirror, fluffy mirror. She gonna give you all kind of different colors. She yeah. did that on the last three letters. But now, now puppy and that little was the same. Right. Mm. Nothing in the in the little was the same. Nothing. I'm looking at uh. So my bro had made this post right here. Uh, you know he in the sports real heavy. Uh, Xavier Howard. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. How that play come about? Oh, uh, it was uh, mutual friends we got. Okay. And uh. About a year ago, he had, he he had linked us to get a dog. He wanted to get a dog, and the deal never went through. And uh, he had hit me up one day, and he was like, he want to get a big rope. And I'm like, you know, I got you. And uh, we end up going out to the club, and we locked in at the club that night, and. Uh, the next day, he sent his uh people to pick the puppy up. Okay, that's crazy, man. That that that's big though. That's 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 just. And and and, and we, we we really been linked ever since that. Every day, like you know, we in touch every day. He 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 he, he part of high end. You could see. You that's know what real. I'm saying? That's, that's big, and I feel like you know, you know, sales like that. You know. It just adds to the resume and mm-hmm. to the to the reputation, you know what I'm saying, and the value of the brand. You feel me? Uh, when somebody in that, uh, you know what I'm saying, you that gotta, level you, coming, you by gotta from know you in this game. You gotta know how to market and and, and how to treat people with, with, when you when you're doing business out here. Right. You know what I'm saying? That plays a a, a lot into people wanting to get a dog from you, like. That's like going to buy a, a, a car from a salesman and it, it, he rude. You ain't going to buy that car from him. You know what I'm saying? No, for sure. If you, if you see somebody that's really trying to work with you and try to make something happen, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm going to stick with. For sure. And, you know, even even when, you know, to speak on that, even when it comes to what we do, um, I, I do that same thing, you know, it's, it be people calling me on FaceTime, I don't know. I feel like it's important, like on the page, through the through the, through the podcast page. I just feel like it's important to try to talk to everybody I can or at least give them a conversation. 
you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they customer, gonna be spending, it's, yeah, it's customer they gonna, courtesy. Yeah. I might have like my phone all day. I be on the phone on on my phone all day, answering questions, people in, inquiring, dog. You know, sometimes it might get frustrating, but at yeah. the end of the day, it, 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 it's really all want, right, right, right. Because somebody spend money like that and they never been in, into that, you got to really talk to them. Yeah. And, and you gonna have to answer the, the questions that you hate to answer, but it's all a part of your job. I mean, you you a dog breed. That's all yeah. a part of your job. I'm we big were talking on about that earlier. Yeah. You yeah. gotta make it more convenient to where you can really, because sometimes the, the calls will be so heavy to where. You know what I'm saying? We were talking about that earlier. We got it. We were talking about getting a secretary to yeah. to handle yeah, like, to handle that side of the yeah, game. Yeah, that's great too. Yeah. Set up an apartment where you can sit down and talk to her family because you know you got husband and wife. You know what I'm saying? Retirees and stuff. They might want to take some money out of their 401k, but you got to show them the vision of gold and let them know that. And your word is everything, that I'm going to be with you the whole way. I'm going to be with you the whole way. I ain't going to just sell you no dog. Exactly. I'm feeding a dog. And when the dog come in, he, you just can't reach me or nothing. I got your right. money and gone. We don't rock like that, man. Nah. Man, and I don't then know. When you do that, you ain't standing on morals and principles when you do that. Your integrity is bull. You feel what I'm saying? People so buying something from you, man, yeah. because they want to be a part of what you got going on. So you already got. But when you when you deny like them people like that, that's a selfish move. Oh, I got your money and go. But one hand shaking another. We ain't trying to just shake your hand one time. We trying to shake that 20, 40, 50. We trying to shake it every day if we can. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? And plus, you know, we're travel, so yeah. it only take one person to have a bad experience. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it be. Yeah, that's that like, why. Right. Right now, if you go, if he tell me about a restaurant, I'm gonna look at the, the views and look at wealth and all that. You know what I'm saying? Before I take the lady to this nice restaurant, I got to see if this going to meet with the accommodations that I set up. Man, yeah, I, that's, I, that's I had a question. Service. I had a question. I'm gonna I'm leave that topic. Alone, though, I don't know. I don't know. It's like I, I had been getting something about somebody, but that's a personal thing. They just put it out. There. I ain't gonna talk about it. I, I had something to add to it, but I ain't gonna talk about it. Man, we don't be tripping. We ain't got nothing to hide. Everything we do public record. No, no, no. It ain't on y'all. Somebody had took somebody money and like I kept ignoring it, but it just like I, I'm talking about it was back door to my. To this page, and I, I think they be wanting us to, they be wanting us to be the bad guys, bro. And I, and I don't really want to be the bad guy like that. They nah, want see, us your to, situation, you got to be neutral. Yeah, it's like they want us to put the bad news out. I don't know, man. I don't. Nah, but, remember we said that the last podcast. You yeah, gotta, you got to make your platform positive. Because when you open that door for negativity, you got to think about it, bro. In this game, you have over a million personalities, and why I say over me. You might have a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand dog men, but each one of them dog men coming with six to eight to a hundred personalities. You feel what I'm saying? Right. You don't know what they're going through at the time, so you don't open your platform up for the negativity because the negativity uh, outweigh the positivity. And, 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 and you know what I'm saying? Even though you can get on live and speak about nice things, and you might look at your your account, you might be at 115. Yeah. If you on there beefing and talking about this and that. You look at the count, it's 1,200. But still in all, we don't even open the door for that. You keep your platform positive. You keep your platform to where people can come. Because I ain't going to lie, though. When I first started dealing with Ox, and I was with the dog, when I first invested in it, mm. and y'all came about, I was really watching y'all podcasts and watching YouTube channel. And I ain't going to lie, I was really learning on my own. Because, you know, you can only go as far as your teacher, but yeah. you're still supposed to do your homework and learn on your own. And sure. I would listen to other breeders and learn it. But think about it. If I'm on your podcast trying to learn, because I'm going to spend some money, and all I'm hearing is negativity, that's going to discourage me from spending my money. Like, right. man, he got jacked. He got jacked. He got messed over. He gave him 5000 for a stud credit, had one puppy, this and that. And, and then you're going to be like, nah, I ain't going to mess with that. But you got a platform to where people really come to it and can learn before they invest their money. And that's why I like it, because still to this day, I go back and I just, when I'm just chilling in the bed at night, I go look at the YouTube and say, let me see what Bullet Spitting got going on. And I look at the different breeders and, you know what I'm saying? I be looking at Tony with that zoo dog. Yeah. Oh, Tony go hard with that zoo dog, bro. Man, it's all day. Huh? That's, yeah, that's how. I'm about to put a couple. He's yeah. so confident with zoo. I'm about to put a couple dollars with zoo. We got to bring zoo out. <laughs> now, for sure. Yeah, Tony, Tony. We got, 
Tell Tony, Tony, I know Tony. you don't watch it. We gotta bring Zoo out, man. I got a couple of dollars on Zoo, man. Yeah, yeah. Tony I got done. a couple of dollars on Zoo. You know, we keep in touch, but you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to learn something. I don't wanna go hear how somebody got messed over me. That gonna discourage me. Yeah, I get I get tired of the man. Yeah, I be like, you man. Over, nah, you over there. Y'all supposed to put it out there, man. Listen, nah. bro. Listen, you don't gotta deal with you, you don't gotta problem. deal with that. Yeah, deal with. you ain't got Go yeah, to a, uh, like, they man, got a, uh, it burning from them. Put them yeah, yeah, if you yeah. got a problem, they got these uh, 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 hood discovery pages and nah, the fake really. pages. <laughs> Go put it on them. This platform ain't for that, man. We educating over here. Yeah. We learning from all kind of type of breed. We learning what this come from, that come from. You know what I'm saying? I learn from him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I go sit to his house and he tell me a lot of things. He don't sugarcoat nothing. And what I like about him, though, and you got to respect that. You know, a breeder will buy a dog and show you a dog. Yeah. And like when we first came on this podcast, he told you where he bought that for Dan from. People right. not going to do that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You got to respect a move like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that because my partner, because if he wrong, he wrong. And I'm going to pull it up on and tell him, boy, you did wrong. Yeah. But a lot of breeders ain't going to tell you where they got the dog from. You feel what I'm saying? Right. But a no, lot of people, sure. by him saying that, people go and reach out to the guys and this and that. But, you know, when you do good business, they going to always come to you they they big product first. But you got to respect somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? He ain't trying to hide the knowledge in the black community. Your homeboy have a lick for 50 grand. All he got to do is sign a paper. and wouldn't even tell you. You feel what I'm saying? He giving you the sauce. He telling him, you want one? They got three of them. Yeah. I got one. They got Somebody else got one. They got one more. Go get him. He telling you where to go get it from. You feel what I'm saying? That's yeah. respect, man. Man, we, ain't, we opening the door. We kicking it down. We ain't, it ain't even on the hinge. Yeah, I don't believe in that, man. I I've been I've been seeing I've been seeing y'all dropping vlogs lately. Can can we expect more? You know, yeah, what we saying? Like, we we the holidays had took us for a little while. Yeah, and we was in the middle of trying to figure out all these because we got a lot of females that was coming in. In, in, in it was man, we just had what they were two of them just came and he yesterday. Yeah. Two, yeah. I'm talking about two in the same house came and he yesterday, and uh. It's just been trying to figure things out and we kind of been like scattered over the place. We we really been in a lab, but mm -hmm. uh, we've been doing the breedings. It's time for us to come back out now. So, you know, it's, it's, it's the holy season of the year right now. Give us about another two, three weeks or whatever, another month by by Easter. We're gonna start back dropping that. We're gonna start back wearing YouTube out. Then I got the- uh, so I'm thinking about a shoe. Yeah, yeah. Think about a shoe next week. Oh, all right. And then uh, me and Alex, we working on the high end fluffers dot com. Right now, it's in it's, it's, it's in the works. Can we get? A, can we expect a high end uh podcast? No. Oh no! Nah, nah, yeah. we gonna, nah, we, <laughs> we, we yeah, we promote bullet we promote bullet spit now. I, I mean, man. yeah, yeah, but we you know we can we can bounce off each other if we if you know nah, we, we can learn see. we can learn from that fluffy community you know what nah, i'm saying we're gonna send everybody to y'all we're gonna let them know tune in a bullet spit man. we're gonna promote y'all man. man nah we got too much other things going on we're gonna promote y'all that's how it go though that's y'all lane this our lane that's how it go right see when you be trying to get into other people lane that's where lane, the discrepancies you know. come in at. Right, right, you know right. what i'm saying you got to know your place you feel what i'm saying that's your land. We gonna we uh Ox got a new shampoo. He just he just dropped. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he working on the deodorizer. They got a lot of things. Once we get the website going, we're gonna do the high end cages. It's a lot we got going on, we working on. So by the summer everything gonna be everything gonna be fully running. Man. Ox working on a restaurant. Man. So, you know, sky's the limit right now. It's just we putting in work. We everywhere with it. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind I mean, of. I remember, I remember you. I remember you saying something about that. Ice when we was at the uh, the first spot when I came down there. You was talking about doing doing a uh, was it a food truck? Yeah, food truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do a okay. Food truck. You about to get that out from the food truck out front? We pull up everywhere. Mm. Yeah, My man. man hollering at what your boy name is? Kennedy. Who? King. King. Bonafide. Bonafide, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonafide with the food truck. That know? boy out here making moves, yeah. Ken yeah. just opened up a um that nigga just opened up a Caribbean uh Caribbean barbecue fusion out there in West Texas, out there in Lubbock. Yeah. Yeah, he got uh he brought a cat over here from Where? uh from the uh Lubbock, Texas. It's a uh, West Texas. How you spell it? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's where Texas take it. Yeah, the book. That's what it looked like, but it's Lubbock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought he was talking. Out there in the, uh, I thought you. A, I thought you were talking about Lufkin. Oh no, nah, Lufkin out there in uh, East Texas. I think. <laughs> I think that East Texas. Yeah. Uh, they went, uh, they went bulldogging in Lufkin one night, man. Yeah. Yeah, y'all was out there. Yeah. We yeah. Were bulldogging out there one night. Damn. I don't even know what that means. What bulldogging? What bulldog? Well, why, why, why them take down that hog? Yeah. Take down that hog in the middle of the woods. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, okay. Already, you know what it is. Oh yeah, I know for sure. Yeah, it's just a lot of them running around this mud. But uh, I I was looking at the list, Ox, and I had I don't think we spoke on it. We might have did, but I don't remember. But I remember after after you seen you got number one, man. You went and celebrated, man. You you, you got you you had a cake and everything come out, <laughs> bro. Yeah, you did it big, man. I ain't I ain't seen that one done, man. You know. Yeah, cause 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 it was a it, it really like. My whole life I've been trying to be number one with these dogs. Yeah. I'm talking about from game dogs to regular regular bullies to like the bulldogs to not you know, the fluffies. So, you know, when I wasn't expecting it, I'm I'm gonna keep it real because I don't look at me like that. You know what I'm saying? But the world see. So when 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 I made that, I was proud. You know, cause I feel like I accomplished something that I've been chasing my whole life, and yeah. ain't like I just jump in the game and got that out the blue, like everybody would would do. You know what I'm saying? Like they look at me like, oh, he just got in the game. Like you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. they had a lot of breeders that was on the list last year, and I was down the list. But you know, I just had came home, and I went full force with with, with, with really my dream, like. A lot of people jumping again because they seen the money thing. It wasn't because they was into this their whole life. Like, this is my life. I put everything to the side for that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I know I know what I've been seeing online, you know what I'm saying, on, on the Instagrams, on social media, in person, you know what I'm saying, you know, walking through the mile. And, I mean, you can't even get to where you're going because somebody trying to, you know, see you see your dog, man. So it's I, I seen it personally. So man, with with uh with some of the cats on there, man. Um or or to the people that didn't make it, man, just know You gotta, you gotta keep earn going. it. You gotta earn it, you yeah. gotta keep going. Just like, you gotta keep man. going. I felt so, you know what I'm saying? I was so proud of the situation and was so happy for the situation, man, because I sit back, bro, you know, like, I sit back probably the last two, three years, and, you know, I, I, I watched this, you know what I'm saying? Like, fur as the chance, you know, swap over with the fluffies, in the fluffy game, you know, like, I watched, you know, I watched them boys, you know what I'm saying, from round up, you know, that I watched it from, you know, step to step, and I also watched them bless a lot of other people, you know what I'm saying, along the way, too, right. you know? So, to see all them, you know what I'm saying, and get their roses, you know, it just was, no. Yeah. Yeah. Um, really you know, touched on something. I mean, I mean the consistency, man. You know, the consistency is real. A lot, a lot of people are try to, are try to. A lot of people are try to fake their way into something or, or cheat their way into something, man. I ain't see that. I ain't see that with y'all, fam. Like I just seen real deal. Litters dropping, real deal. Vouchers from the vet. You know what I'm saying? Real deal vouchers from people that that wasn't even that was behind the scenes that was vouching for y'all, like it can't take that 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 was earned, man. And you know, to the cast that's on there, it was earned. You know, I, some of them look, we could have did a little better, but anyway, that's I neither here or there. Not to cut y'all. Yeah, that's like I see and you know I observe everything. I be watching everything. You know what I'm saying? But I see y'all got a list from every other state, you know what I'm saying? So like, every state, when you put that list out, mm. everybody contests, everybody say, well, he should have did this. On that Louisiana list, ain't there one person that I seen, you might have seen, you might have heard, I ain't seen nobody who contests that number one spot when you put his name on them. They couldn't. I never heard not one contest, you know what I'm saying? I seen Florida 
was bucking about something and this and that, but I never seen nobody contested that in Louisiana. Cause they know. They Every couldn't. time you go to that vet, you gonna see boxing at that vet. Anybody that says something, uh, they couldn't they couldn't say nothing like and they know they couldn't say nothing, even on the lives that y'all didn't see. That I was on. They couldn't. They couldn't. They were like, yo. Now they argued about the other spot. Yeah, they right? argued about the other Five spot. Five should have been higher. Nine should have been three. But they never said nothing about that one. Yeah. I mean, the work. The man put in work. The man, it speaks for itself. But it get, speaks for itself. They on the live. I mean, see. Nah, nah, nah. They ain't really say too much. Nothing too much bad. They just couldn't. Contest they couldn't. They couldn't. Spot. They couldn't take that number one spot. Yeah, they were like, it was we can't. They other couldn't people. say, yeah, it was eighteen other... should have been probably the top yeah. ten, top five, but then nobody contested that number one. That's I mean, yeah. Though. I mean, you know, we from a section to where everybody see who putting in work. They know what's going on. Yeah, I think. I think. Uh, what well, the vibe I get from? They just want the list to be authentic, like you know, real authentic. It's hard, but it is what it, it is. Yeah, it, it is what it is. We gonna get around every year, but it's cool. Uh, I think I had a question. Um, I forgot what I was gonna ask. My bad, y'all. I was trying to get it out. I got a short term memory, but uh, I'm gonna be the first one to make that list with no IG. Nah, you ain't got no IG. I'm gonna be the first one to make it with no IG. Damn it. I seen you at the parade, bro. Uh, I was gonna ask you, man. Was you turning heads up there with your uh, with your Frenchie? Uh, all the time, man. The shirt will turn heads, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The shirt will turn heads. Yeah, I ain't lying. I go back to my old neighborhood, and they be like, "Yeah, I got to get one of them high end." It's like, man, when I go places, they be hollering, "High end, high end," and I don't be having no merch on or nothing. That's what we gotta do. We gotta push that merch. We might have to. We might have to put this in dealers. Huh? <laughs> I ain't Everybody gonna, hollering high end, high end. I ain't gonna lie. One thing about high end, what that smart is when you type it on Instagram, like eight of them joints pop up. Yeah. So, okay, you looking for Ox, bam. Well, who this other high end person? So you got like eight high ends on there. That's gonna get everybody to follow, you feel me? Yeah, so, it's a Friday. We got that, Texas, we got Friday. Mississippi, Arkansas. <laughs> Nah, that's, that's smart. Yeah, everybody who a part of, of, of the camp should have high end at the front because it's, it's, it's just going to work in their favor. Yeah, man. Um, I had a good-ass question, too. I'm mad about that. But, yeah, man, while I'm thinking about the question, it might pop up when you say something. Um, what can we expect, you know, further on in this year? You know what I'm saying? Big rope. At first, that's what? Uh, from the oh, from the camp, from the camp, yeah. Well, I got something that's, that, that we got something in the making that's going to be here in a few that going to shut the world on again. Big rope, full fluffy, visual pink. Yo, that's on the way. Yeah. That's on the way. I know, I know y'all got boys mad. Yo, we are ahead, we are, we are ahead of the, ahead of the game. <laughs> I know y'all got boys. I'm gonna right? tell you, I'm gonna tell you what, what 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 really brought all this to light when I hit that number one spot. Yeah, I heard a lot of chatter. Uh, they coming for the spot. This that boom boom boom. You heard me? That made me go harder and get more and more to lock it down for the next year and the next year. I'm buying for next year. I'm buying for next year list. Man, I, 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 from what I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying three rings right now. By the time, I feel like you by got... the time that, that was, <laughs> when when Dabba Dan start producing, I'm gonna have something else that going that they gonna be waiting on. Man, you know what? What's his stud fee at right now? It's at fifteen k right now. Jeez. That's the early lock in before he start working. Once the puppets hit the ground, it's, hit the ground, it's 20. Yeah, man, I'm going to put a picture up here on the interview so y'all can see him, but God damn. Yeah. Yeah, high end for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah, you know, you got to you gotta keep the game exclusive. You can't, you know, you can't let everybody make, 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 have, have the best of the best and it's affordable to everybody. Cause that mean it gonna water down. 
Yeah. So you know, you, like a, a lot of breeders do that. They they drop the prices down. I don't drop the price down on my dog. My dog gonna stay the same because he quality the quality and that's that's what it is. I ain't in the, trying to compete with 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 with, with people and prices. Yeah. You know? For sure. Uh okay. Well uh where where little act stuff he at? Five K. Okay, see. Aye. Been that from day one. It ain't changing. Yeah. Hey, hey, so if you wanna get in the game, man. Hey, that 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 that's a that's a that's a proven thing. Right got there. got a lot of sons coming out this be year. A lot of more than that. Hey man, I kind of I don't know now now that I see that, but then I kind of I kind of want to see what you got in the works for him, like who you got him going to. Yeah, I got we got a, we just got a lot around us. I bought him for everything that we got around to make everybody great. Yep. Yeah, right. That just like you, know, you see that little one we had on the last podcast. Yeah, that little platinum one lotto. Right, right, right. I'm telling y'all now, nah, we bringing all the depth, and I'ma name that nigga, or that little, excuse me, excuse me, I'ma name that female or that male, Harlem. Yeah. You dig? So, that's how we coming. So, be looking out for Harlem in the next year. That's a dope yeah. name, too. Yeah. Harlem. That, 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 that was Dabba Dan Studio. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that. yeah. Okay. I had to, I had to, I was like, I was about to ask you, but now. Dapper Dan Harlem, okay. Man. Like Dipset, man. But look, I want I I really want to touch on the uh <clears throat> what you call that the peep but the inspiration like the people that they re- inspired you? that inspired me when I came home from jail. Okay. I watch I watch uh Interstate Interstate Bullets. Yeah. Cause you know they, I was, I, I, I knew them from before I went to the feds. They had Hayes, yeah. and, and and a few more dogs, and you know they had Bolo, but it was another branch of Interstate. Cause there was a few people. Uh, I came, I, I, I came home and I seen these dudes riding Lamborghini trucks, Bentley trucks, all this off of the dog Bape. You know that that was that was one of them. And uh, another dude that really, really inspired me to go hard with that is the dude in in Florida with the dog Big Twix. Wow, uh, 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 uh. Damn, what's that young nigga? Working? What's that young nigga name? Ryrie. Yeah, Ryrie. Yeah, yeah, like, like he he like all of them is really like George. He really showed showed the game what it was like. George, before I went to jail, George probably had made two point five million off of Miyagi. You know what I'm saying? And then he was selling dogs in China for fifty. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, this this what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for real. I so ain't see. when I seen when I when I came home and I seen that it was possible, I had to look for the next best the next best thing where I wasn't gonna be in competition trying with everybody. Yeah. So that's when I went to the fluffy game. Like before anybody got, it, I just happened to jump in the game and bought a female before I bought a stud. Cause if I would have bought a stud, y'all they would have been hearing about high end. Right. You know I had to wait a year before I had my first litter. Everybody who bought a fluffy, in between time, they they went to the top. Uh, Envious, Texas Elite, uh, uh. With some other name, uh, a lot of them that had the, the fluffy studs. That's 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 who started making them. You know the wave and the name. Right. But like I say, I I I, I caught back up. So you know, like I say, I'm here now. My whole team here. Everybody gonna we gonna kick the door down and keep on kicking it. So so did you have uh? So why you was you know? Sitting back, you know, sitting down for a little bit. Was you, was you, was you planning your move while you was, while you was in there? Or was Not that, really. Oh, like okay. you know, like I said, I'm a dog lover, so my main thing is, like, I, I'm gonna tell you like this. I lost, I lost over 150 thousand on dogs 
when I went to jail. Right. You know, so I really wanted to give up on dogs, and I wanted to open up restaurants and do all kind of, you know, flip houses and this and that. But my passion led me right back to the dog before I did any of that. Right. I bought my first dog. I bought I bought my first fluffy a mirror before I had a car to ride in. Right. I was hitchhiking, calling my partners to pick me up. But I spun that bag on that dog, and that yeah. dog took me to a high level. Man, that's crazy. You said flipping houses. So I, I tried to flip a house, right, in Texas County. I thought I was going to get 10000 out that house. Uh, I ended up paying them four five hundred dollars because I went past the thirty day. Was it thirty or sixty days? I couldn't get it sold. Right. But I tried though. Right. It wasn't for me. Like but, it, you know, it's a, it, it, it was a lot. Like my mind in, <coughs> in the feds. I'm talking about. I had all this written down on paper, and I was like, the dog. I'm gonna buy a dog, and that's just gonna be a pet. Yeah. I ain't gonna put all my efforts in, into that. Like I had money I spent on a rap game. And you know, really now I took all of that and I bottled it up and put it under high end. Yeah. I used all my knowledge from the rap gang, all my knowledge from the streets, and just, you know, put it all into this dog. This dog shit. Likewise, man, I I, I was in the rap game first with this with this camera shit. And I just, like I say, in, in forward, it was just, them young niggas were going crazy, man. They was they was dissing each other and killing each other. So I said, man, I don't want to interview these cats, man. I don't want no blood on my hand. So Like, uh, like I look at it like this here. Uh, if I get an uh, artist, yo. let's say I spend 5000 on a feature here, right? 2000 on a beat here. Right. I got to get them some wardrobe. I got to pay for the people to shoot the video. So I'm looking at fifteen dollars or $20,000 that I'm putting in the artist for a mixtape just to get him the light mm. for people to see him, which in, it ain't no guarantee I'm going to get any of that money back. Right. But if I put fifteen dollars or twenty into a dog, it's guaranteed I'm going to get my money back and more. Yeah. So... Like, it, it, it got to make sense these days. Like, it was all cool with the rap game, but that was only doing nothing but drawing heat and attention. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Now, the attention I get now is all good atten- in- in- intention. That's, that's what's up. So, my last question to you is somebody new coming to this game that want to get where high end is. What's the what's they what's the what's the first thing they gotta do, you know, to to reach to reach that goal? Well, you gotta have the they gotta they gotta really have the 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 ambis, a, ambition to really take this to another level because just like I say, it ain't gonna happen overnight. It gonna take it 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 it, it might take two to three years before they even see any results. So, like I said, if that's what you really want to do, you got to stick to it and keep doing it. Right. And, and with them two or three years, you know, if that's something you got a passion passion for, I think it, uh, them two or three years will go by quick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you having fun while doing what you do. Right, right. And with that, man, you know, we going to end it on that, man. I so appreciate high end. Yeah, I appreciate y'all coming through doing this interview with me, man. Y'all don't have to do it, man. Yeah, we appreciate you, oh, cool. even you yeah, know. Yes, sir. Us y'all to... welcome on this platform anytime. My bad, I didn't mean to cut you. You know, you, I was just saying we just appreciate you always, you know, yeah, inviting us. On your platform, yeah, yeah, for 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 people to really know, because a lot like I like you like I like you say, they don't give us our recognition. Yeah. So you know. You help us to get to where we need to be at. No, nah, for sure, man. For them to see us. I'm always, you know, I'm always go against the eyes, man. I'm always go against the eyes. It's just, you know, it's just how I'm built, man. Yeah. But, yeah, man, I appreciate y'all once again, man. And like I say, anytime y'all want to come on the platform, anybody from high end, welcome, bro. For sure. Already, man. Appreciate y'all, boys. We up. All right.
Hej.